Hi, Jason from Millennium Games here, and we're back again, and this time we are going to do yet another box break, because our last one proved quite popular, it sold out in the end. We have a Lightseeker's Mythical box break this time, so instead of it being 24 boosters, it is 40 boosters, it's that much, big, much, that much bigger a box. Um, we have all the orders in this except for Nature and, I'm just going to have a quick look at my thing, Mountain are still left over. So we have Astro will be going to Kami, we have Storm will be going to Ray. Will will be getting Dread, and Adam's going for Tech. So, this is a good one to get. So, Kindred's obviously dropped. We'll be doing a Kindred box break next. Um, Ray, um, and Will and all that, um, I believe they're all in that one as well, because they seem to be the first ones to get in there. The Kindred box break is only 24 boosters, whereas this one's the 40. They did 24 for Awakenings, they did 40 for Mythical, and they went back to 24 for the Kindred. So, we have 40 boosters, I'm just going to... Check them out here, look at that, oh, we made a mess, cool. So how this is gonna work is, we are gonna open up the packs, we're gonna split them into order. We're then going to put the unaligned cards into a pile, and we will shuffle them up at the end and divvy them between each order. Um, if we get a mythical hero, which this is the first set you could get mythical heroes in, we'll have two orders, it'll have one um, main order, which is two of the things, and one singular order, which is one. We will roll a d6, Odds will go to the one order, evens will go to the other order, and that way it's random, there's no decision. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see that dice, um, we'll go with that, and what I'll do is it'll be the top one so you'll see it, but let's get cracking in the pack. So, um, I've been playing a lot on the app lately, um, Kindred cards are still not live in the app, which is a bit of a pain in the neck, because um, I really want to get testing, because I've not got many physical Kindred cards yet, but we'll get there. Um, so, we have Shrine of Death in Dread. We have Gravity Well in Astral. I really like this Gravity Well because it gives you so many options. We have Putrid Infestation in Dread. We have Bone Reaper Dread. We have Invigorate Combo for Nature. We have our first tech card, Empowered Implant. Pretty big card, does 15 damage on its cock. Uh, Regen Chamber is a really good one. I like this one, it's pretty cool. Um, I've seen people playing this a lot on the app. The app's different to the local card meta because I feel the app has more casual build decks, which is nice. Um, Gorge Stalker for Drek, which is a really good one. Um, that's a lot of Drek cards so far in this pack. Um, our first rare is, we have Bug Rider. Bug Rider there. It is increased damage done to other heroes by three if your last discarded card is a combo. And our foil is, we have a foil Greedy Germ, Ger, a Greedy Gem Rough. Well, there we go. So, yeah, so that's that. So let's just keep cracking through these packs. Um, yeah, so been playing a lot of Light Seekers, been playing also a lot of the Warhammer Champions, which is really good. Um, we have Celestial Warrior, we have Flame Bat, we have a Thunder Slug. Thunder Slug is always a staple in most Storm decks, it's your buff and rule. Yet another staple, we have Crazed Bomber. Look at this, we're getting all the staples in this pack. We have a Shadow Puppet staple. Uh, again, Abyss Hoarder, most Dread decks with abilities because it lets them draw cards. Uh, combo for Storm, Nimbus Crash, damage your target and healing for 7. Not great, but it's uh, still a combo. Um, our rare in this pack is Fungal Farmer, draw cards equal to the number of different forest buffs you have in play. Oh, we've got two rares in this pack. We have a rare hero. We have... Da -da -da -da, Vigrad, Vig Vigrad, Vigard, Vigard in nature. Uh, the ability is... If you take 8 or more damage from a single hit, you are immune to additional damage that turn. Then a foil emergency generator for Storm. That's not too bad. So nature's, nature's still open, so if you want to purchase the Nature, you can contact us. Um, it might be gone by the time this video is out, it might not be, so it's still available. We have con uh, Corvid Conspiracy, I've been using this a lot in um, online just because it's a good casual card. S Snowcaster Elder for Astro. Putrid Infestation for Dread, Fountain of Time for Tech. That's a really good one because it lets you push a buff two steps forwards or two steps backwards. Stable for um, Nature is a Moss Ridge Defender because it's uh, damage reduction. Then we have Delivery Crab. Obviously, um, there's a website named after Delivery Crab where you can get your singles and stuff like that. That's based in America. They also have a podcast, Need More Buffs. Um, Matt Sonnenberg, really good podcast. I like and I really enjoy watching it. So yeah, check, uh, listening to it, sorry, so check it out. Crystal Maze for Mountain. And then we have a rare is Lunar Shrieker for Astral. Now, somebody tells me that might be... 
I don't know if people, I don't know if that's a stable one, but it looks pretty cool. Uh, gain one additional action. If your last discarded action card is not astral, move it to your hand. Not too bad. Uh, hero for Dread. Um, Grimlock, Hemlock, Grimguard, Hemlock. Yeah. And then a foil Rumble Roach for Mountain. Next pack. So we're only three packs in, and so far it's not too bad. Um, get a good mix of cards. Um, obviously that pack with all the buff removal is quite nice. Dust Feeder for Astral. Gravity Well for Astral. There's a Stable, Crystal Leech for Mountain. We have a Flame Bat for Mountain. We have a Devourer Soul Combo for Dread. We have Turbine Waste. Um, and we have our first Unaligned card, which is Umbron Informant. So we'll put that to the side and we'll divvy them up at the end. Our rare is Wave Crasher. Instead of discarding store water cards under this, attack ability damage increase this by number of cards stored under this card to a maximum of 10. Starts off with a 4, so that's pretty cool. We have, oh, there we go. So we've got our first Mythic Boys and Girls. It's one of the most common ones, Zelena Bloodhoof. Uh, Zelena Bloodroot, sorry. So that is Nature and Dread. So Nature is going to get Evens, Dread is going to get Odd, and it goes to Evens. So that was nature so that goes to that's open so that's sitting there um so that's the first one and our foil i've got foil rare which is inertial sentinel unique reduce the first damage you receive per turn by two if you have 15 or less health this only affects damage dealt by the heroes it's pretty cool so there you go it's our first mythic um some boxes can vary they reckon you're supposed to get something like zero to two mythics per box i've seen boxes with lots i've seen boxes with little so we'll see how this one goes we have vitalizing frog we have another Thunder Slug, Hurricane Hermit. A lot of people like using this one for card draws, pretty good. Um, I've never really used it before. Another Unaligned, Creeble Nurse, it's pretty cool. Um, Rock Melter Combo for Mountain, Crumbling Tower for Tech, Vibrith Creeble for Dread, uh, Sun Strider for Astral, nice rare there. It is three damage increases by one for every other card you played this turn, which is quite good in Astral because you get lots of turns. Kiwi Sunfist Hero for the Astro, which is nice. And Dread gets himself a nice foil Draga Scorcher. And who's getting the Mountain? Oh, sorry, not Dread, Mountain. Nobody's got Mountain, so there you go. Mountain's still open. Um, again, we put up box breaks on our website, eludiumgames.co.uk, in the online store. We also sell Light Seekers boosters, Interdex, and sealed boxes. We also have the Warhammer Champions game there as well from PlayFusion, which is really good, so check it out. Um, we have Shrine of Death. We have, I got confused there because we've got Shrine of Death and Necrofan and it looks like the same dude there uh, worshipping two different ways. But I think it's not. I think it is two different people. Yeah, it's two different people, but it's pretty cool. So two cards for Dread. We have Pathfinder. It's the buff removal for Astro. Uh, speed of buff removal. We have buff removal for Dread. We have Mantic Spitter. We have Empowered Implant. A good one for Nature, Infected Wasp, which is, deals damage equal to the number of buffs. Plus three. Uh, Chrono Angler for tech is our rare. Look at the bottom four cards of your deck. You may play one of them without using up an additional action. This works really well with... Oh, crikey. Tempest. So you Tempest the card away and then you play this to get the card back. We have a Hero, Death Lord Gorax for Dread. And then we have Rock Melter Foil for Mountain. So I underestimated how much time it would actually take to open all these packs. It's pretty fun. Yeah. Um, so what we got now, we've got Disturbed Elemental, we'll speed through these, this pack, we've got Sneaky Creeble, again that's an unaligned, Ashwood Diva, again there's another Fountain of Time, a Gravity Well for Astro, Storm Calling, Te now this one is part of a combo for a Storm where you can basically go, in not infinite, well, I don't know, I think you can go infinite but it still needs to work out, but the card, Spirit, Gate got banned, not banned, got errata to have burn, so it stopped the combo going off so much, but that's still pretty cool because you're combo's back. Electrified Moat, really good one for Storm, and this is one of my favourites, Dust Fiend for Storm, because it can be used as pay for any element as long as you have access to that element of a combo, which is nice. Ah, uh, there's a good one for Dread, Shade Whirler, good, uh, good staple. Um, Umbron Thief, uh, foil, there we go, we'll crack on. Um, so yeah, so we've got Kindred coming up. Um, we're toying with doing box breaks for Warhammer Champions. We're just not sure because there's only four factions in it, so it does mean the buying would be slightly heavier, but some people might like that. Reckless Spirit for Nature, which is their buff removal. Another Greedy Gem Ruff. Uh, another Shadow Puppet for Te uh, for Dread. Snowcaster Elder. A Hurricane Hermit. We've got a Rock Melter. 
Uh, Windseer, I like this card. I've still to see it get used more, but I've been using it a lot. It's quite cool, just because it gets a card from their hand back in the deck, so it can slow them down a turn. Uh, we have an emergency generator, and then for this one, we have a rare, which is a combo for nature, spirit walk. So there's it there. Uh, is move your move all your animal action cards from your discard pile to your deck. Draw two cards, gain two additional actions. Now, that's not too bad. I personally wouldn't play it. I, I still have to work with Dread, though, so that's pretty cool. And then we have a Tyrox Historian Foil for Dread, uh, tech. So that goes to Adam. So he's all right. Um, so let's see. So, yeah, it's been not too bad so far. Um, I would say at the moment, obviously, Nature's getting the best with that Mythic Hero. But other than that, um, Astro's getting some good stuff. So, yeah, that goes, that'll be good for Kami. Um, Chris Bidisi Corvid. Chrono Warper um, for Tech, Bone Reaper for Dread, a Vitalizing Frog for Storm, which is good, uh, Devour Souls for Dread, which is becoming quite popular in the Dread decks. Um, I personally don't like it, but yeah. Star Storm Combo for Astro, Empowering Sanctum for Nature, Mechanical Machine for Tech. Now, I quite like that one. I'm still... I've seen it be played. It's all right. Uh, we've got our first rare on a line card, which is Scavenging Gnarler. Um, it has clunk, 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 10. Um, first three corners rotate this one step forward when your target gets healed for three or more. And then fourth corner, deal them 10 damage. And then our foil is a sneaky greedle. So there's a couple of uh, couple of Analine cards so far, so that's not too bad. We'll, as I say, we'll take them at the end of the video, we'll shuffle them up, and we will randomly deal them out so nobody knows what they're getting. Flame Bat. We have, oh, Boulder Feast, a nice stable for Mountain Dex, which is your six healing. Sneaky Creeble. Droplet for... Um, Storm, we have Empowered Implant again, Man, that's the th I think it's the third one, I don't get kind of annoyed, I, I don't like it in so many duplicates, but then within 40 boosters, what do you expect? Um, Colossal Skybeam, now, a lot of people swear by that card, I've still to see it being used in any of my decks. Uh, Val Breath Creeble for thingy, uh, Rare, Mantix Weaver for um, Nature, that is 2 healing, trigger all your defend abilities in play, Conditionally rotating buffs with defendability still rotate if applicable. Boom. Ah, we have a hero for nature, green sprout, and then a foil chrono warper for tech. That's pretty cool. Um, do, 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 do. See, we have a reckless spirit. Cool. Nice. More, more um, buff removal. We have that one. We have shrine of death. We have wild spirit. We have invigorate. We have Regen Chamber, we have Treetop Tribunal, I've not seen this combo, uh, Treetop Tribunal, this buff cannot be removed by the heroes, first three corners rotate this buff one step backwards when your target defends, and then it deals 16 damage, that's pretty cool. Um, ah, uh, rare for Mountain, Power Hoarder, it is corners one and two, restart this buff if you take one or more damage, Ugh. and then damage to your target. Restart this buff. It looks like it's good, but I wouldn't say it was. Uh, Astral scored himself a nice uh, rare hero. Um, Mad Gut the Wise. It's pretty cool. And Tech gets him, uh, Dread gets himself a nice foil Mantic Spitter. Um, as I say, if you're interested, we also, in, if you're local uh, watching this, we do Light Seekers every Wednesday in store. Um, we are also looking at starting doing big um, once a month tournaments for Win a Box or something, but we'll get more information up on the website or on the Facebook. Uh, Disturbed Elemental, another Dragon Scorcher, really good card for Mountain. Gravity Well, another solid card for Astro. Demolition Bot, remove an action buff you control, deal 5 damage, reduce your damage received. That's pretty cool for tech. We have a so, uh, uh, Astral Combo, Storm Combo, we have that one, and um, oh, another Gorge Stalker for Dread. Our rare in this pack is Dugout Reactor, burn, deal two damage to yourself, move up to two explosive cards, action cards, from your discard pile to your hand. There you go, tech, oh, and there you go. A foil Dragon Scorch, there you go, Ray, that's pretty cool. Foil like that deck, you know what I mean, if you're using them. Um, I like to, um, I like to foil out my decks. I've almost got a complete foil Sicario deck, I've almost got a complete foil Dolo deck, and I'm working on a foil Ushi deck, but I might get rid of it because Ushi's not as good anymore. Monsters Defender, Solid buff removal for tech, so that's Adam. You'll need these as a good. You might already have them, but use the second edition ones because it's second. Um, Boulder Feast for Mountain, Vitalizing Frog for Storm, another Rock Melter, Stalwart Rockle. Ah, uh, there's a good one for you, Ray. Assassin's Guild, these are really good. Um, gives you two additional actions, keeps you going. 
Um, this one, Venom Feeders. Nice rare for um, Dread. Uh, three healing, move one discarded poison action card to your hand. If you don't want that, Ray, I know that someone will be able to, uh, someone will trade it off you. Um, Kami, because he's looking for these. Um, Cannoneer Lugnut Hero for Tech. That's pretty cool. And then a Foil Bone Reaper. So, there we go. We, uh, we'll get another pack in. We're, obviously, we've got, we're limited to time wise with um, recording for lengths of videos. So, what we'll do is when the video is, Chris is behind the camera, will let me know we're about to get time. I'll pause. We'll tidy up just a little bit. We won't change much, and then we'll continue opening packs. Um, you'll not notice the difference, hopefully. You might do. Um, Corvid Conspiracy, Chrono Warper, Bone Reaper, Fight Legs and Frog, Flame Bat, another Gorge Stalker, Crystal Maze, Rock Hydra Avenger, and our rare is another Wave Crasher. We got a Foil Putrid Infestation. Um, I wonder what the count on these cards is for this set. Uh, does it tell you in the box? I'm going to tell you. I'll need to look into that see what the sort of card count, how many different cards is, because we got a few re repeats there, uh, like uh, quite a few duplicates. Um, hopefully it won't be as much in the new Kindred. Um, Mountain, uh, Boulder Feast, uh, Sneaky Creeble, Droplet, Reckless Spirit, Snowcaster Elder, Soul of War, Chrono Shock Engine, oh, another rare, uh, Gnarled Scarver, at uh, Scavenging Gnarled, sorry, so there's another one of them, so there's two people get a chance to get that. Cedrus, a hero for nature, and then we have a Foil Mantix Volter. A lot of people like this card, um, it's pretty cool. Uh, we'll get another pack in the go. I think we're nearly halfway through, possibly. Um, you might know better than I do, watching at home. Shrine of Death, Wild Spirit, Disturbed Elemental, Dragon Scorcher. Get Dragon Scorcher and uh, Cluster Witch site, take them together. Boom, nine damage, and then slam it for another. Rig of damage, gravity well, invigorate. Ooh, gravity milder. I've seen this played a few times on the app. Um, not so keen on uh, uh, resourceful civet. Well, there you go. That's uh, Ray will be happy with this one unless he's already got it. But the rare hero, Tempest. That's a good one. Tempest is solid. He lets you move one card from your hand to the bottom of your deck and draw two cards. Really good card. Um, and there's a foil puppet, uh, mass, uh, shadow puppet for Ray. So not too bad, it was a good pack actually. A full shadow puppet and a tempest, I'd be happy with that pack. Um, right, so two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Ah, darn it, we're uh, not quite halfway through yet, so that's not too bad. Uh, Demolition Bot, Moss Ridge Defender, Crazed Bomber, Mountain Feast, Vitalizing Frog, Empowered Implant, uh, Flame Fist Umbron. There's another Colossal Scal Beam. And our rare in this pack is Frozen Totem. It is for Astro. It has Burn. When your enemy attacks you, move one, or move X, X, and then one, one discarded action cards from your discard pile to your hand. Pretty cool. There you go. A Foil Devourer Soul for Ray. So what we'll do is we're gonna pause the video here, just tidy this up, quickly, um, Change the camera for the setting because obviously the clips could only be 20 minutes long in this one. And we'll be back in a second. Jump cut. <laughs> so yeah, so we just quickly had uh, to change the battery over there. Um, so we're back in the packs. So I had a quick look online there, which is 152 new cards from when Awakenings was to, kin uh, to Mythical. Uh, meaning there were still reprints, obviously the staples like the buff removal. We have Spark Wasp, Spark Wisp, sorry. Rumble Roach for Mountain. We have Necrophant for Dread. We have Crank... Gear Crank Catapult for Tech, Star Storm for Astro, Dawn Stalker for Astro. Now I've seen people play this online, but I've seen a lot of people use it to pay for combos and then just chuck it, so I've never actually seen it get used. Now that I'm brought in for it unaligned. Our rare is Glade Priest for Nature. Uh, when you heal your enemy, use an ability heal for 1111 and draw 111 cards. That's not too bad. And um, we have a hero, Rhyhorn the Stubborn for Mountain. Uh, no one's got Mountain, so that's open. Ooh, and a foil hurricane spirit. There you go. That is who's getting storm. Ray. Oh wait, hang on. Ah, uh, no. Ray's getting storm. Will's getting dread. Ah, uh, well. So there you go. So, all right. Okay. So you never know. If if you fancy changing Ray, if you decide you want um, 
You can said you want Dread. I know that Will will swap you for all the swarm, Storm stuff. Just let us know. Messages on Facebook or whatever. Crystal Leech for Mountain. It's a nice solid buff removal. Sneaky Creeble. We have Fountain of Time for Tech. Good card. Hurricane Hermit for um, Storm. Bone Reaper for Dread. Lunar Offering for Astro. Starhorn Tusker for Astro. Hey, a Yakona Archaeologist for Astro. Three damage. When you draw this card, you may reveal it and restart one of your buffs. There are many ways to draw this card from actions, combos, etc. Uh, a hero, uh, Moon Moon. You don't draw a card after playing a combo. Ooh, he's got 35 life. I don't think so. <laughs> I wouldn't be playing that on a foil droplet. So yeah, um, yeah, Moon Moon, no. Um, I see what they're trying to do. They're trying to obviously get 35 heroes not to be OP as. Um, but yeah, the uh, Creeble Nurse, um, Electro Hopper, uh, Loot Snatcher, Ashwood Diva, Wild Spirit, Skyward Observatory, Stock Insipid, I like this for sideboard, um, a nice one, Sand Stalker, 3 damage if your last discarded card is Lunar, gain 1 additional action, dude, hey, nice one for Mountain, Volcanic Eruption, I used this in my Dola deck that I went... 7th place in last chance qualifier for Nationals, and then an 11th place in Nationals for this year. Um, it's really good. Uh, basically, 11 damage, then... Uh, no, sorry. Uh, yeah, it drops in 11 damage, then no buff, no buff for your opponent. And then a Foil Umbrunch Salvager. Uh, I was going to say something there, but I got distracted by that cool card. Um, yeah. I don't know. Oh, well. We'll just continue. Um, a lot of parts in there. Boulder Feast. Umbron Thief. Astral Priest. Uh, I hate that guy. Um, Dragon Scorcher. Another Friend of Time, which is really good. Another Umbron Informant. Uh, uh, another Skyward Observatory. And I'm going to have to flip this around. It is an Impressed Cloud. Two healing. If your last discarded card is a combo, move two different valid action buffs from your hand to play. Yeah. Um, Rhyhorn Stubborn again for the mountain. That's two of them now. And ooh. A foil Grimbreak. Draw one card if you get attacked with a combo. That's pretty cool. I like it. I wouldn't play it, but I that's what I was going to say. We had a night. We were discussing ideas for heroes, um, and I might put it to. We might put it to. Oh, play fusion, but we'll see. Um, we might do a. We might do like a. A video one day of like. Concepts. I don't know. Reckless spirit. Putrid infestation. Corvid conspiracy. Tardox fixer. Yay! Finally, they're really good. Um, if you're about to die, boom, an extra seven life. Spark wisp. Stock Insipid, Combo Lunar Offering, Combo Ritual Sacrifice, and a Rare First Storm, Reflector. When you're about to take damage from another hero, deal the same damage back to them up to a maximum of 8. This cannot this cannot trigger other effects or be increased by other effects. Meh. And a Foil Snowcast Elder. Um, yeah, so um, the, this video will be slightly longer than obviously our last Awakenings one and our upcoming Kindred one, Droplet. Just because of the packs are more Boulder Feast, Ambron Informant, and I also were showing off the cards a bit more. Um, Dust Feeder. I mean, I could just go straight to the rares, but just like went through the packs. Uh, Storm, Star Storm, Matter of Virus Soul, Starhunt Tusker, Crumbling Tower, and our rare is Embiggen Ultron. If you deal damage to yourself, increase the next damage done to other heroes by two. Interesting, and a Fall Resolve Sipid. Huh. Where's the sipid? I have to have a look. I assume sipid means beetle. I'll have to look that up later. I think it means a beetle. Um, okay, so let's see, next pack. I know, no one cares what I'm talking about. Um, so, quickly, Sneaky Creeble, uh, Flame Bat, Electro Hopper, Reckless Spirit, Tyrax Fixer, nice one, Storm Collar, Crystalline Alter, ah, we're losing it. Uh, Fungal Leecher. Seems like all the rares are going to storm. Flood Zabber. Deal 2 damage to your target at the start of your turn if they have 4 or more buffs in play. Ooh, and a wee foil hero. Foil bubbles. Right. So, next pack. Uh, I wonder if you see all that there. There might be a jump cut there. I don't know if you know us. We try to be seamless. Probably wasn't seamless. We uh, had a bit of an issue with the camera there for a second. So, Astral Priest. Demolition Bot. Rumble Roach. Underline Dumbron Thief. Ooh. Celestial Water, ah, this card can suck one. I hate this card, Paralysis Bug. Oh, so many times I've had it played against me when I'm playing Dolo. 
just stops you drawing cards, stops you playing defense. It means it literally, I can place buffs, but sometimes I don't want to play buffs. Another Dust Fiend, which is nice. Ah, oh, Contra Bubble for Tick. Ooh, someone's going to be happy. Don't know who, though. Uh, unaligned Rare. Grave of Monk stops your, stops all hero, no hero can play abilities, which means it locks down a lot of decks. Someone's going to be happy with that. And a Foil Celestial Water. Du -du -du -du. Du -du -du -du. Ah, man. See the only thing about these box breaks. I've got to clean all this up after, which sucks. Uh, Necrophant. Monster's Defender. Loot Snatcher. Ah, buy Loot Snatcher. Good thing is people will be able to scan all these cards into the game. Uh, Wild Spirit. Uh, injured, empowered implant. And it means like the guys that um, I know that Ray and Adam, they're all a big group of buddies. They can all share the Exilons if they want, or they might just keep them, I don't know, or trade them even. Uh, Star, Star Storm. Hey, another Colossal Skybeam. Uh, Colossal, uh, Colossal Skybeam. Uh, infected Veg, their rare deal damage to your target equal to the number of cards in their hand. Good one. Uh, Max Maxilli. Oh, look at that. Two heroes for tech. Maxilli and Wartix Miss Warp. What? Wartoximus Warp, whatever, weird name. Um, so yeah, um, we've only had one Mythic, which is a bit disappointing. I'm pretty good in that one, Snowcast Elder. Demolition Bot, just dawned on me there, we've only had the one Mythic. We had loads of heroes. Uh, Loot Snatcher, Crystal Leech for Mountain, Crumbling Tower for Tech, Crystalline Altar, hey, uh, another Chrono Angler for Tech. Look at the bottom four cards, you may play one without using it. Boom, a combo in this one, a rare one, a Storm Conduit, damage to all your, damage equal to all your current values added together for your buffs. Oh my, and a foil and Arlid. So we've got three of them, so there's a foil one, two normal ones. So statistically, if we get, if we end up with six of them by the end of this, which is looking likely, we'll just give everybody one. Um, okay, so Shrine of Death, Putrid Infestation, hey, another Tyrax Fix here, another Crazed Bomber, Another Astral Priest, boop, Rock Melter. So I was saying, 152 new cards came in this set from Awakenings, um, and obviously Awakenings, uh, there's some Awakenings reprints. Um, Fungal Leecher, a Royal Bumbler, rotate this step one forward when you defend, attack ability, damage, and restart this buff. So it goes nothing, 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 and then eight. Well, it's not too bad. Hey, we got a rare hero, Ferris, increased damage done by your items by one if you have two or more fire buffs in play. This could see play with the new Kindred Fire weapon, so watch out. That might be, um, maybe. Um, Flame Bat Foil, to be honest. That's pretty good for a good mountain set. And a good, I think it's Nature Mountain I'm to be picked, and they've got good cards coming in them, so you might want to get on that soon, guys. Uh, Chrono Warper, Monsters Defender, Greedy Gem Ruff, and Electro Hopper, deals two damage at the start of turn if they have no buffs in play. Invigorate, and Umbron Salvager. Uh, Starhorn, uh, another press cloud, mech. Um, Mega, and a foil dark leaf. Still, there's a lot of rares for um, Storm, which is pretty mental. So at least you're getting duplicates, which is nice. Um, Droplet, Spark Wisp, a Rumble Roach, a Thunder Slug, another Astral Priest, that should be well over place right now. Another one of these. These are good, keep these. Um, Gorge Stugger. Magma Worm, I've seen a lot of play from people, which is pretty interesting. Another another rare in the uh, Storm, Flood Zapper, deal two damage to your target. The start of the turn if they have four more buffs in play. And then we have a Foil Rock Hide Revenge. We have only a couple packs. Three, six, nine. This is the tenth last pack. That's taking quite a lot of time to go through 40 packs. Dust Feeder, Necrophant, Ashwood Diva, Chrono Warper. I'm trying to read and do this at the same time. It's really hard going. Everock Racer, uh, Mantix Hatchlings, I'm building a nature deck using all the, at the start of your turn, do X, Y, Z cards, which are nice. Lunar Alignment, hey, Creeble Decoy, another good one for an uh, unlined. Stops basically if uh, dual decks slow down or Tembus, because when they attack, they have to put attack card back to their deck. Um, also good against Ghana as well. Uh, Fizzy the Fierce, it's a tech hero. Oh, and there's a Foil Crystal Leech as well, nice. Whoa. there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, Electro Hopper. Oh, Pathfinder. They're good to have. Uh, Rumble Roach. There. Crable Nurse. Another Draga Scorcher. Another Mantix. Uh, we have another Electro Mike These are really good. 
um, slows uh, attack decks down, they, they feel less like the attack here, the waste buff removal. So it deals them 3 damage every time they attack. Tree Duck Tribunal, and a Fungal Farmer. Draw cards equal to the number of different forest buffs you have in play. That is our rare. And we have a Foil Umbron Informant. Everyone seems to be playing a one of these at the moment online. Um, one of them and one Jester. Um, I'm not that fast, so I'd rather use up the slot for something more important. Celestial Warrior, Demolition Bot, Dust Feeder, Gear Crank Catapult. I'm getting really annoyed that we've not had a Mythic yet. Disturbed Elemental, Windseer, Contra Bubble, Carabit Scavenger. Increase or uh, instead of discarding, store defend cards under this card. Defend ability, heal five, move one store card to your hand. That's not too bad actually. It's pretty cool. And uh, bubbles and a foil gear crank catapult. Hmm. That's an interesting one. Uh, Mantic Spitter, Loot Snatcher, Pathfinder. I'm going really quick just to make this video not so long. Uh, Astro Diva, Droplet, Starstorm, Flame Fist Ambron, Fungal Leecher. Ah, eh. Uh, Quantum Loop, 9 damage. Every defend card used to pay for this combo deals an additional hit of 2 damage each, which cannot be increased by effects. That's pretty cool. Nice one there. Oh, hang on. So that's a good one for you there, um, Adam. You can add that in your deck. And then a foil and powered implant. So it makes sense. You've had a shed load of these. You might as well get a foil one. Do -do 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 -do. Six. We're down to six last booster. This sucks. There's no mythic. I'm getting annoyed. Gem Raff. Celestial Warrior. Spark Wisp. Shut up a bit. Uh, Thunder Slug. Stalwart Rock. Uh, Soul of War. Oh, there you go. Another one. Good one for Yukami. Another Sandstalker. Really good Astral card. Um, um, a Dread Hero. Venom Weaver Arson. Weird name. Uh, reduced damage received by one while your life is below 15. And a Foil Demolition Bot for Adam. Boom. Vitalizing Frog. Crazed Bomber, Mantic Spitter, Crystal Leech, Invigorate, Mechanical Machine. Hey, another Dust Fiend, really handy to have. Hey, finally seen one of these. Moonlight Bodower, really cool card. Um, it's rare. Look at the top four cards of your deck, draw one of them, put the others back in the same order. If your last discarded card is not Astral, you gain one. It's not Astral. Well, you gain one additional Astral as if it was a certain thing. Oh, Luke. Leo, he is everywhere. And we got Foil and Parting Sanctum. I'm pretty sure Leo's a first gen hero. Why is he in. Ah, did they repeat Leo? That seems weird. Uh, Disturbed Elemental, Wild Spirit, Gear Crank Catapult, Chrono Warper, Greedy Gem Ruff. Hey, Everrock Racer. Some people like this card, it's pretty cool. I never really played it. Um, Ambron, Sk Ambron Salvager, Lunar Alignment, and um, we have another rare. Chrono Angler, look at again. Well, you've got that Tempest, you've now got three of these. That's pretty cool. And a foil Spark Wisp. Come on. Let's every one of these last three packs be mythical. That'd be nice. Come on. Tarox Fixer, your deck's just making itself. Ambron Thief. Um, Corvid Conspiracy. Dragon Scorcher. Hoops. And straight. Bone Reaper. Empowered Implant. Skyward Observatory. Caribal Infiltrator. And another Volcanic Eruption for Mountain. Uh, oh, uh, another, f is that the second foil power holder, I think? I think we've had two of these now. Round some mine's done really well. Still no mythicals. Come on now. I'll be upset if there's no mythicals coming out of this. Come on, mythicals. Creeble Nurse. Pathfinder. Hurricane Hermit. Mantic Spitter. Storm Calling. Hey, an Abyss Weaver. Really good card. Um, if you've got Shadow Buff and Play, it gives you an extra action. Solid for Scado decks, um, turbine, wa turbine Wastes, and the rare is Tinkerbot. Draw one card when this enters play, defend ability, return one of your tech action buffs to your hand, draw cards. Yeah. Hey, we have a Mythic, finally. Near the end it is, well, let's read the file first. We have an Ashwood Diva, and what's quite amusing is this hero is either going to go to Ray, or it's going to go and sit in the mountain pile. So Ray... You are going to get, um, because it rolled even last time, I'm going to go odds for, because I did even for the majority and then odds for the middle. Let's roll up this dice. Boom. Oh, it's even, Ray. Sorry, man. So that goes into the mountain. Wait, what's up? Hang on. What did I do? It was evens for the majority, wasn't it? 
Oh, okay. Never mind, Ray. It is yours. I could be wrong. Whatever. Am I giving it to Ray? Ah, oh, useless. We'll review it back. I, it looks like you might have that. It was a two anyway we rolled, so I'll double check and then I'll, I'll give it to the right person. Sorry, Ray. It's a long day, mate. We're filming this on a Sunday afternoon. It's really late. I'm really tired. Uh, Spark Wisp. Uh, put you down there just so you don't get mixed in. Rumble Roach. Uh, do you know what, fat? No one's bought mountain. Ray's put the effort into purchasing. Ray, you're having it regardless. Um, Necrofant. Uh, Gear Crank Catapult. Cradle Nurse, Powered Implant, Milk Tech, a Magma Worm, a Rock Hide Ravager, a Rare is a Swamp Peddler, 4 damage, increase this by 1 for each combo card in your discard pile, that's pretty cool. Oh, we've got Foil Rare, Hibernating Agama for the nature. At the end of your turn, deal damage to your target. If there is a buff to the right of this card, remove that buff and restart this one. It's pretty cool. So that's that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to quickly just give this a shuffle. We're going to dish out our our unaligned cards. We are going to run through. No, we didn't. <laughs> we only got two and a half foils, so that's not too bad. Uh, it's on about the gnarled scavenger. Uh, the gnarled scavenger. Where did he go? Of course, he disappears. There. Uh, scavenger gnarled. Yeah. Um, I don't think it's a great card. It could see play. You never know. So we'll shuffle this up. And there would be a nice thing not damage cards. So uh, we're going to go um, your left, my right. We're going to go Mountain first. So Mountain gets uh, Foil now, it's Carver. That's not fair. Uh, Kribo. Kribo. Now it's Carver for the nature. Close out Sky Beam. That's pretty cool. And um, we have Ambron Informant. That one. Hey, so you're getting the Kribo Monk, Will. Um, Foil Sneak and Kribo. I'm brought Thief. And I'm brought Informant for Tech. I'm brought Thief. Sneak of Creeble. It seems like I'm just saying Sneak of Creeble, I'm brought Thief, and I'm Informant. Thief. Nurse. Oh, there's a nurse in there. Nurse. Foil sca Scavenger for Ray Adam. Loot Snatcher. Close of Skybeam. Nice Scavenger for. Will. We have Nurse, Thief, <laughs> Beam, Creeble Decoy going to Ray, um, Loot Snatcher, Nurse, Nurse, Loot Snatcher, Loot Snatcher, I'm going to fall asleep saying Loot Snatcher, Nurse, Infiltrator, oh it's a different one, uh, Salvager, we have an Umbron Thief Foil for Will. We have a foil Ambron Informant for Kami. We have a Ambron Salvager for Nature. We have a Creeble for Tech. And finally, we have another Ambron Informant for Ray. So that is that. I will add these to your piles, gentlemen. And these cards will be available. Um, I will contact the relevant people to see if they want them shipped to them or if they're going to come collect in store. It's not a problem. Um, and with that, that is the mythical box break. We will do a Kinder box break next. Um, that will be the, up shortly. You will probably see this box break, a board game review, then another box break just to so we break up the pattern on the YouTube channel. How with that, what can I say? This is hard work. You think it's easy, it's not. It's long going. And the excitement is kind of like, I get excited and then I realize I don't get all these cards, but it's fun. Um, hopefully I haven't mucked up too much because unlike a board game review, we can't do several takes. We have to do it in the one shot. But hey -oh. so that is a box break of Mythical. All of those cards. I am going to go and have a lie down for five minutes before we get back to work. Next time, enjoy.